Hey guys, this is all streamed out. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another episode of WWE 2K23 My Rise with the Legacy. And we still have Kayla, we've got Sammy, we now have Corey Klein that we can talk to and Sonia Deville. But I did notice something in the social media. Um, we could talk to Nikki Ash, but that is not what I am trying to do. There is in the DMs from the real Justine. I think you're ready for a singles run. You've more than proved yourself. Come talk to me first, though. I have something I want to discuss off WWE premises. It's sensitive. I'll be right there. Can't wait. Okay. So let's see what this is all about and see if we can get ourselves another belt. And this one's called Elevate Your Status. Uh, it's worth uh, max upgrade points of 20. Thanks for coming. Of course. I'm ready to win some singles gold. But what was so sensitive that you didn't want to talk at SmackDown? I've been thinking. I want to make sure that your singles run is a success. I want to manage you. That's great. And you need to distance yourself from mm. Ava. What? I've been watching your matches. You're the real star. If you drop the baggage, you're sure to get a title opportunity. Besides, you know that tag team partnerships never work out in the long run. It's only a matter of time. I know people around here turn on their partners like there's something in the water, but tag team partnerships can work out sometimes. Look at the New Day. And how long collectively has any of them been a singles champion? Okay, I see what you're saying, but I'm not sure if Ava is a problem. Molly says management has been really happy with our tag team reign. I'm sure she'd let me pursue the SmackDown Women's title, too. Molly. Fitting you'd bring her up, considering she's a great example of why tag teams don't work out. I'm speaking from personal experience. You know what she did to me. Everyone knows Justine. Molly turning on you in the middle of the ring is a classic WWE moment. So then everyone knows she's a snake. A snake who has yet to book you in a championship match, despite all the work you've been doing. I wouldn't be surprised if she's holding you back on purpose. My relationship with Molly is different than yours. Molly's been helping me. Listen, I'll talk to her. I'm sure if I ask, she'll set me up with a championship match. <laughs> We'll see. Hey, I was actually looking for you. I wanted to talk to you and Ava about planning your next tag championship defense. Representing the division as the tag team champions has been great, but I actually wanted to talk to you about a singles run. Isn't there still one open slot in the Fatal 4-Way for the SmackDown Women's Championship at day one? I'd love to have that spot. You and the rest of the roster Besides, you're doing a great job as one of the tag champions. Might not be best to split your focus right now. I honestly didn't think this was the case before, but... Are you trying to hold me back? Excuse me? I'm sorry, but I have to bring it up. Justine is convinced that you have some ulterior motive against me because of your history with each other. She thinks that since you betrayed her in the ring, I shouldn't trust you. Seriously? Betrayed her in the middle of the ring? Do you really think that's all there is to the story? It happened on Raw, Molly. You turned on Justine during the middle of a match. Everyone saw. Are you going to tell me that didn't happen? No, I did that, but geez. Don't believe everything you see on TV. What's that supposed to mean? I only turned on Justine because I caught wind that she was trying to turn on me. She was politicking with management backstage to get them to break up our tag team. She was so convinced she was a single star, she was prepared to throw me under the bus. But then I found out what she was up to and beat her to the punch, literally. Mm. That's what really happened? Listen, as far as I'm concerned, this is ancient history. What incentive do I have to lie to you now? And I'll be honest, it didn't end that badly for me. Turning on Justine, 
Let's just say that making a move like that in WWE is one hell of a statement and lets everyone know you mean business. Wow. Like I said before, I don't have any ill will towards your aunt today. Enough ancient history. Let's talk about your next tag title defense on SmackDown. And I'll think about putting you in the fatal four-way at day one. Okay, so we've got Liv Morgan and Rhea Ripley. In the women's division, we've seen some unlikely teams pair up just for a shot at these tag titles. That's what it means so, to the women's roster. Um, I don't know. It just says retain. So, I don't know if we're supposed to turn in this match or not. But let's just get through the match. We'll see what happens. Okay. Oh, counters right into the bread basket. Let's get her back into the ring. Toss back into the ring. Able to tag her partner. Running leg drop. Lib got out of the way. Nice. Okay. Don't be afraid to use the resources and help your partner offers. Am I being diplomatic enough, Cole? She sent flying into the corner. Slingshot elbow drop. Oh. There we go. No, she's not going to tag. Okay. Can we get her to tag, please? Okay, get Ava in here. Get her into the corner. The only thing her up right. Boom, right to the oh. 
Really? Okay. The challenger not looking good right now. Yeah, they've stuck it out through this match, but it wouldn't hurt to go for the tag soon here. Wow. Okay. Did not work out the way I wanted it to. That one worked. And here we go. Oh, missed it. She needs to stop saying she's going to bring it and actually deliver on the promise. There we go. Get her up. We'll bring Ava back in. Placing them right where they want them into the corner. Back and forth, back and forth, looking for the advantage here. There we go. All right, come on, get her back in for me. And now she delivers her back into the ring. Looking to end this. Catastrophic damage on the back. I think the chips got Okay. Okay. The title's in jeopardy here. I think the paradigm has shifted. Well, that really didn't work. Look at this, just put a barrage of stops. Tagged in. Okay, come on. There we go. Nope. Of course not. There we go. Into a pen. Wow. Okay. She returns the favor there. 
Defenses are sharp in this series of reversals. Let's go again. Okay. And Morgan saves himself. And a well executed move we just saw there. Standing shooting star. Press incredible. And into a pen that should be it. The champ will stay champ. Okay. So we still have the belts. Really do make the perfect pair. And Justine, hey, what's up? Got your message. Sorry, I didn't have a chance to call back. Had a chat with Molly. She told me what really happened between you two. She said you were really working backstage against her before she turned on you. Yeah, so. So. Have you not been paying attention? Like all tag teams, our break was inevitable. I was only trying to get the upper hand before she turned on me. My only regret is that she found out before I could make my move. I always thought you were just mad at her for betraying for you. When Molly betrayed me in the match, she reaped the benefit and got a push in her career. People started taking her seriously, and she was booked in higher-profile matches. Really made that much of a difference. Uh, it's what got her the women's championship. I eventually caught up and beat her for it. But I should have been first. Why didn't you tell me? How was I supposed to explain backstage politics to a nine-year-old? I... Don't want you to make the same mistake with Ava. Make the first move. People don't get into WWE to become tag champions. And stop there. Believe me, Ava's having the same conversations we are. Okay. Of course I'm right. Ava wants to get ahead. She'd be a fool for not thinking about using you to advance her career. Don't let her blindside you. Now's the time to make a move. Imagine what you could accomplish, especially if you have me by your side. Okay. Hey, did I hear that you and Ava are defending your tag titles at day one? Actually, I'm trying to get into the fatal four-way for the SmackDown Women's Championship. Oh, my mistake. <laughs> that would be great for you. Hey, can I ask you something? How did you make it work with the rest of New Day when you went after King of the Ring? What do you mean? They didn't resent you? Resent me? <laughs> they supported me. Just like I supported Kofi Mania and Big E when he won Money in the Bank and the WWE Championship. When one of us wins, we all win. No. I guess I get that. <laughs> you know what they say. The whole is sometimes greater than the sum of its parts. And being in the New Day is all pluses. You can take that math right to the bank. You've had some interesting experiences with a tag team partner. <laughs> what kind of conversation starter is that? Hello, Sonia. How are you? There. I helped. Sorry. I just have some stuff on my mind. But with you and your partner, do you regret turning on her a few years ago? No. Be... Because... I'm sorry, are we having a heart-to-heart -heart here? No, I don't regret it. You know when my career really started to take off? When I stopped playing nice, and I started looking out for myself. And honestly, ultimately it worked out for her best interest too. Hey Sean, any chance I can pick your brain for some advice? Sure thing, kiddo. Always down to help. How do you know when it's the right time to make a big move, even when it might go against company plans for you? Are you asking me as WWE VP of Talent Development? Or as the Heartbreak Kid? Right. Definitely as HBK. I'll be the first to say, not to take anything too far. You don't want a reputation for having a bad attitude. Believe me, I know. I see. But sometimes sticking up for myself 
<laughs> we'll call it that, worked out for me. When I was in a tag team, I leaned on my partner to make more of the decisions. Then one day, in a barbershop, I stuck up for my own interests. That was the beginning of a new chapter in my career. So, what's the answer? I don't know, kid. I'm just an old-timer waxing poetic about the past. But whatever you're thinking or doing, make sure you consider the consequences on all sides. I mean, I'm still of the mind frame that, uh, that Marty Jannetty actually tried to jump through the barbershop window to try to get away from Sean. But, yeah. Ava, a great match tonight. Sorry, I had to run right after. No worries, I'll catch you next week. Oh, I did run into Molly on my way out of the arena. I hear there's a big match coming up at day one. Oh? Yeah, we're going to be defending the tag titles against Cena and Ronda. That's a big one and at a major premium live event. Can't wait. Me neither. And here we are. So we need to soften up Shayna. Not even a one count, and that's fine. Ooh, okay. Come on. Look at her taking in all the energy from the crowd. She adjusts it and reverses it. Tons. She's tagged in. Okay. With the tag, she and her partner appear to be a well-oiled machine. Not so fast, Michael. Shayna and has Ava's number. I can't believe this after the damage Shayna took. It's becoming clear who's pulling the weight okay. off the team. Anyone can have a bad night, Corey. Ava's almost within reach. If her partner can tag in, she might be able to turn this match Are around. Are we going to... Um... I don't know if we're going to get another chance here. So, we're out. Moreno's tapping out. This is over. We have new women's tag team champions. Looks like she wanted to make a clear statement. At the expense of the tag team championships? If Ava kept competing like that, losing was inevitable. Better to make a move now. Speaking of making moves, she okay. title to attack her partner. Saxton. There's no question this partnership is over. Though I don't think the new champion to So uh, I think it's safe to say that we are now a heel. You got to wonder why the former champ didn't help her partner. They could have talked to their issues and might have kept the championships. Okay. Well, I honestly think that Shayna and Ronda need to do something and I would like to see them as tag champs. Legacy, I did what I needed to do. I'll be addressing the events of day one on the next SmackDown. Real Justine, it's about time. Tonight, the WWE Universe has been promised an explanation for what happened at day one. But what would explain it, Michael? Be quiet and we might find out. My road to WWE hasn't been like most. Ever since my debut, I've had advantages simply because of my family. I know that. And you, the WWE Universe, has accepted me sometimes because of that, and sometimes in spite of that. Then there's Ava Moreno. From the very beginning, Ava has put me down for who I am, even as she used it for her own benefit. Ava? I pulled you up with me onto main event. You even had the gall to make me work for it, even though it was my name getting us a match. You took advantage of me, Ava. Our whole partnership, which you weaseled into, might I add, was never about being a real team. It was always about you using me. I realized that at day one, when you were reaching out of the ring trying to use me again. And so I made a decision. I'm not apologizing for who I am anymore. <laughs> I've already dropped the dead weight. But tonight, 
I'd love to introduce the WWE Universe to my new manager! Someone I think you already know. It's WWE legend Justine. We guess that she might be advising her niece on her career in WWE, but this makes it official. A new manager and a new attitude from the former tag team champion. I'm not sure if I agree with her updated outlook, but I certainly want to see what comes of this latest chapter. I, for one, think it's a great outlook, Cole. She's looking out for number one. I wouldn't be surprised if we see her at the very top very soon. Do you think she's going for the SmackDown Women's Championship? Where else would her interest lie? Justine wouldn't waste her time with anything less. The champion better keep her head on a swivel. Dewdrop, watch out. And that story is complete. We got 20 upgrade points. And we are going to move our striking up one to level seven. And Ava Moreno, Legacy had lots of words and excuses on SmackDown. As far as I'm concerned, I'm better off without my former tag partner too. And that will end today's episode. I want to thank everybody for watching. My name is All Stream That. Hit the like button if you like this type of content. It lets me know that you like this particular type of content and would like to see more. Hit the subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications to be notified every time I post a video. And follow me on Twitter, Twitch, and Discord. The links will be in the description below. Have a wonderful day.